We received a grant uh, to uh, establish a community risk assessment for the city of Vandalia and our fire department. And what that community risk assessment will do is it will help us identify some high hazard situations. Uh, a lot of times within the fire service, uh, we try to be reactive or we are reactive. So a big situation happens and then we try to figure out how are we going to handle that if it happens here, where with this community risk assessment, the fire department is now going to be proactive so we can make sure that we're fully prepared to handle that situation when it happens. You know, we have a lot of uh, businesses within our community that have some very highly dangerous chemicals. This will help us identify those hazards to come up with a pre-planning. So with that pre-planning, our officers, our firefighters will know then, hey, if we get to this location, you know, we have to take steps A, B, C. And it's been a great team cooperation throughout the whole city because it's just not the fire department that has to participate with supplying that data. We've had data supplied by our communications, our dispatch center, the police department, city management. Uh, so we've all come together as a great team to supply this data so we can do what's best for the community. They'll come back with a report and it'll give us the findings. And then with those findings, it'll give us recommendations on how we can improve on those findings. Uh, right now, they're about 50% done, just over 50% done with the report. We are planning on having the final review of the report in September, and it hopefully will be presented, the final report will be presented to City Council in October. Our citizens, you know, are first and foremost, uh, are our priority. You know, we want to continue to provide top tier services to those citizens. And by taking these steps of doing this community risk assessment, it'll only help us as a fire department provide better services to the citizens.